Good morning, everybody. My name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan, and welcome here to Ellis Home and Garden. Dina and I are here this morning, honey, in the quarantine. We are ready to have a good time with you guys, and hopefully, even if it's just for a short while, take your mind off of everything that's going on out there. Everything crazy, but honey, if you want to discuss something, make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Any questions, comments that you guys have, we're here to answer those and help you guys in any way that we can. So every week here at Ellis Home and Garden, they offer an item of the week. And this week we almost have multiples. They're not really considered items of the week, but we've got some great specials, great deals that they're offering for their customers, which is super exciting. It's exciting for me too, because I might work here on Tuesdays, but I consider myself a customer too. So I'm gonna tell you about, about that guys and much more as you guys come into the video. Things good on your end? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't have any comments yet. Okay, well, just give me a thumbs up when you do. Okay, guys, how's everybody doing? Hope you are having a great Tuesday so far. I cannot believe tomorrow is April 1st. Oh my God, that's crazy. April Fool's. Everybody, is everybody locked down in your house with y'all? Because, listen, Josh decided he was going to take off yesterday and one day was plenty. I literally thought I was going to go work at Walmart or something or the gas station. I didn't care. I just had to get out of the house. But he's... Okay. He is going back to work today. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, things are going to be right back on track. So, how's everybody doing? How's everybody holding up in the quarantine? Are you guys staying at home like you're supposed to? Listen, this is my excuse. I had to come out to Ellis today just because I wanted to be with you guys and with Gina and stuff. And uh, But that's it. As soon as this is over, I'm going back home, honey. Put my TV on and just sit there. Okay? That's literally all I've done. I have watched the complete whole Netflix. <laughs> I have watched everything on TV. I'm sick of it. I have cleaned. I have vacuumed. I have dusted. Ugh, I have already went shopping for my uh, videos in my design group this week because I didn't know if anything would be open. But thank God they found out that craft stores and hobby stores are essential. Hello! Because it affects our businesses. So, Ellis is still open, honey, at all locations. Uh, they've got livestock outside. They've got plants. They've got vegetables. Livestock? Everything. What was I saying? <laughs> Listen, honey, I'm tired. I've been locked in the house for weeks, okay? Not livestock, but you know what I mean. Like live plants. And um, they've got great specials. So let me show you guys the item of the week really quick, okay? I love dogwood. If you guys like dogwood, give me a thumbs up. Okay, this is a beautiful dogwood stand that they're offering right now, 50% off for you guys. So it's only um, $6.50. There's a lot of stuff on here. We're gonna be designing an infinity wreath today. So we're gonna put a beautiful bow on there, add this with some other florals. But here is the kicker girl, okay? Ellis is offering right now online and in store. So honey, if you need to stack up on your Easter stuff, girl, all Easter ribbon is 70% off in store and online and all Easter floral is 70% off. All Easter decor is 50% off. So 50 to 70% off all Easter stuff that applies online and in store. So honey, you better get on there. It's a no brainer because girl, I'm going shopping when I get done. You know, while I'm locked at home, I gotta have something to do. So hell, I'm gonna have to start uh, making quilts or something, you know, just to get me through the day. But again, Easter floral and ribbon is 70 and then the decor is 50% off online and in store. And again, our item of the week is this fabulous dogwood honey and she's only 50% off. So this is $6.50, which I'm going to show you how we can use it on today's wreath. Okay. Lots of thumbs. Lots of thumbs. Love a sale. Don't you, Gunny? I love a sale. So let's talk. I'm going to try and think what I have been doing over the past year, it seems like, since we've been locked in the house. Um, like I said, I have clean. I bought me a few flowers. They're still living. And uh, I put my Easter stuff in my patio finally. So my patio is decorated. My entryway is decorated. My table's decorated. Ain't got nobody coming over to look at it, you know, because they can't come over. But it is done. So I've got most all the Easter that I'm going to do. Uh, at this point, I'm kind of over it. You know, I'm like, let's, let's put the pumpkins out. You know, I'm ready for fall. So we got that going. Um, Stella's doing good, y'all. How's your, how's your animals? Um, she has just been crazy as ever. I try and get out once a day and walk the neighborhood with her so I can get out of the house. And Josh is still working right now. He works for a drug testing company, so he's an accountant there. So it's essential that he gets there to pay the bills, girl, and everything like that. How is your, how's your jobs, guys? Are you still working? Are you working from home? And a lot of my friends are. Um, but hey, like I said, you know, you got to do what you got to do to get through this. And hopefully it just kind of, you know, fades out after a while. I hope so. I'm ready for things to get back to normal. I want to sit on the patio and drink margaritas at the restaurants, and we can't do that right now. We have to get to go. But I do say, if, you, if you're if you able to and you do eat out, guys, make sure you tip those people well because, like, the other day I went to, it was this place in Gilmer. It was a Mexican food restaurant, and they only had one employee working, and she said that I was the only person she's seen in 45 minutes. So, you know, I gave her a tip just because that's how they support their families and their lives. So, 
it's crazy and sad, but enough of that crap. We're not here to talk about that. We're here to have fun and smile and act stupid. So we're going to be making an infinity wreath today. I've got three ribbons. I've got this beautiful uh, bunny ribbon, 70 off. I've got this beautiful pink, one and a half inch, and a little bit of purple. And I love this. And again, we're using these white dogwoods, which is the item of the week, 50 off. Check that out. And they just go really well with it. White is so easy. You can put any color ribbon with it whatsoever. So I'm going to tie this bow and get it on the wreath. Johanna says she's doing a first live on Wednesday. Joanna, congratulations, guys. I'm so, okay, let's take a poll. Speaking of that, um, Joanna, if you guys are other designers, if you're a designer, if you have a business page um, and you do live videos, just leave a comment. Say yes or no. I'd love to kind of get the feedback and see who does lives, who doesn't. I'd love to go on and check out other people's pages, support them in any way that I can. But congratulations, Joanna. I know it's going to be a success, and I know you're going to do fabulous. Did you guys check out my cooking video last <laughs> night? <laughs> I don't know why everybody laughs like, you know, when I say cooking. But anyway, listen, I just needed to do something, you know. And so my number one request the video, other than designing, of course, on Designs by Dylan, is going to be cooking. So, you know, we have HelloFresh, guys, which is a meal delivery service. We get three meals a week. And uh, one of the meals was called Creamy Parmesan Chicken Spaghetti. It was really chicken pasta. It really wasn't, it didn't have the soupiness of chicken spaghetti. So, I made that last night along with some blueberry muffins, and I went to the store. Um, Y'all see how well I'm doing on quarantine. I went to the store and uh, Lysol the blueberries. But anyway, they only had one box left, and it was gluten-free. So, I don't have a problem with gluten, but honey, let me tell you, I do now because it was really good. And uh, we could have cooked them a little bit longer. They were a little bit raw, but, you know, uh, they were really good. So, if you guys want to check that out, it's on my Facebook page, Designs by Dylan. The tomatoes come out okay? Yes. Okay, guys, we roasted the tomato. You like tomatoes? Mm hmm See, okay, we were talking about this last night <clears throat> with Josh. He can eat tomatoes just like off the vine, like salt and pepper. Ooh, I can't do that. I can, like I, last night I roasted them in the oven. I can eat them like that all day. I can eat them in other things. I love hot sauce, but I just don't like a raw tomato. I get it on a hamburger, I take a bite, and then I pull it off. I don't know. Do you eat them off salt and pepper? Oh, no. There was this lady that worked here, guys. She used to eat those for lunch, just salt, pepper, and tomatoes. I was like, girl, mm-mm. Okay, look how pretty this ribbon is already. I had me some sharp scissors today because remember last week I had a breakdown and tossed those things across the room and they're still over there in the floor. <clears throat> I got the pink, move that out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead now and add in my purple next just because look how pretty those are. Girl, that almost reminds me of Valentine's Day or something. Okay, who has watched Tiger King? I've given you guys another week to catch up. I wanna know if you've watched Tiger King, what your thoughts are. And where is Carol's husband? She killed him. Okay, I want to know, where is Carol's husband? Carol, if you're watching, I'm very disappointed in you. Mm -hmm. I heard, guys, that they reopened the case um, because there were so many questions and comments about her husband. Honey, let me tell you what happened to him. She put him in that meat grinder and fed him to the tigers. It, it told you on there. It made perfect sense. She had a lot to gain with him gone. Jay says he likes tomato sandwiches. Who? Jace. No, Jace. Ugh, that is, mm -mm, I can't do it, honey. Jesus, take the wheel. Okay, we're finishing off our bow, guys, with this fabulous uh, green bunny ribbon. And this is going to go in the center of our infinity wreath as we add it on there. That's not jelly ribbon, is it? Nope, there's no jelly ribbon here. But we do carry jelly ribbon. I don't know if it's online, but I know for sure it's in the stores. And uh, it's one of my favorites to use. It's really fun and, and transparent, so it's pretty cool. Are you going to watch that new show, Listen to Your Heart? I don't know. I've got to figure out if I'm going to be off to watch when it. When it comes on. So, what do they say about Tiger King? Any, any comments? One says, where'd it go? I just had it. Finished it this weekend. Such a twisted show. It was a train wreck, Okay. But you, it's like one of those wrecks you can't take your eyes off of. It was that good. Um, if you guys have any other recommendations for me, like I said, honey, I'm locked in. <laughs> I'm about ready to paint the walls. So if you guys have any recommendations on something to watch, let me know. We rented um, this movie called The Invisible Man. It was very, very good. And, you know, Josh is a harsh critic on movies, but he actually said that was pretty good. Oh, and we watched the new Doolittle, like Dr. Doolittle with um, Robert Downey Jr., it was cute, but you know, you can't you can't be Eddie Murphy, you know. So, what's your favorite Eddie Murphy movie? You like him? Mine is probably Big Mama's. Oh, that's not. I like Martin Lawrence. 
That's Big Mama's house. What's the other one with it? Norbit. Love, love, love it. Yeah. When that girl says, she says, how are you doing? Love her. There's another Eddie Murphy movie I like. Do you like Coming to America? I liked it. You know, they have a new one coming out. They already did it. It's same cast. I feel like I'm missing. I like Beverly Hills Cop. Mm hmm. And I love Daddy Daycare. He used to be in some good movies. I don't know. But I love Be Mama's House with Martin Lawrence. You like that one? Yes. When she throws in four chops in that grease and it splashes <laughs> on her, I'm dead. Okay. <clears throat> Look at our bow, guys. So we're going to put this here on the center of our wreath here. If I can get this through there. <clears throat> so put this on there. You want to tie it as tight as you can. Okay, so we have our bow on there. <clears throat> so now we can add all of our florals. And I've got some greenery. I've got the dogwood stem, which is our item of the week. I've got some color. So we're just going to mix and match all that stuff um, up here on the board. How big are the loops? The loops are about 12 to 13 inches. Trading places. That's the one I was thinking about. Is that with um, Eddie Murphy? I hadn't seen that. Yeah, you know how from time to time, guys, <clears throat> we talk about the 90s movies. It's time. Okay, because I've watched everything. You watched any more share movies? Nope, no more share movies. I ordered that one called Mermaids, but um I think shipping is out of control because you know right now they're it's not essential to get my DVD, <laughs> which I think it is. And uh, so Amazon is I think they're only shipping things that are essential. But I ordered some Sharpies <clears throat> and they came in. I had this new Sensi, y'all. Listen, this is how bored I've gotten. Um, I have this new Scentsy, and it's this Easter egg. You guys have probably seen it if you like Scentsy, and it's ceramic, but it, you have to paint it. And I didn't read on there where it said you have to buy your own marker. So I got the Scentsy, and it set my guest room forever because I didn't have any markers. So I ordered some fine tip pastel Sharpies. Let me tell y'all, I have found my new calling. It was so therapeutic to sit there and color that thing. So now I've ordered some coloring books, and uh, those are not essential either, clearly, because they haven't arrived. But you like to color? Yes. Oh, I love it. It was just, mm. So my Easter egg is so cute. Y'all go to my page, Signs by Dylan. I think I posted a picture. You can see it on there. Okay. Can we talk? <clears throat> Listen. We're going to talk about greenery, okay? We're going to put this on to create a base layer in our arrangement. And I used Maidenhair Fern today. This is probably one of my favorites, especially in the spring and summertime. So I'm just going to cut this apart in smaller pieces. Honey, I'm going to whip her together. And what we're going to do... An infinity symbol basically looks like this wreath does. Maybe it's a little bit more oval. We're going to take the greenery and we're just going to focus on like an S shape. Okay? So let's fill this in first and then we'll kind of taper it off as we go down. Tammy, yes, his loops are all the same. Yeah, my loops are all the same, guys. So look how pretty that is. Just a little bit of greenery. And now I'm going to come up here on the other side and add that in as well. So while I cut this apart, guys, don't forget... Honey, during this crazy time, uh, excuse me, I'm just getting comfortable. Can we, can we get comfortable? Um, during this crazy time, guys, I'm doing everything that I can, especially in my group, Dylan's Divas, to offer and provide the most content and material that I can. So if you guys love floral design, if you've got some extra time on your hands, if you're ready to learn more, um, I have a monthly design group, Dylan's Divas. It's $19.99 per month. And uh, right now I'm giving four live video demonstrations per week and they're very in-depth and detailed with instruction on how to uh, place your flowers, how to select them, how to insert them to make sure your wreath is not congested or flat. And I also provide one pre-recorded tutorial per month for my uh, divas. Live Q&As, so much more information about vendors, a little bit of business coaching. So if you guys are interested in coming over and hanging out with the divas, honey, we're having a blast over there. You go to my website, Dylan, D-Y-L-A-N, Palmer, Designs.com, Dylan Palmer Designs .com, and you guys can sign up to become a diva. I would love to have you, and I promise you will not be disappointed. I have to spell my name every time because they spell Dylan so many ways. Who mm -hmm. knew? In school, they used to call the role, and they called me Dylan, and I'm like, you tried it. Who is Dylan? You know? And one time, they called me Dolphin, and I was like, who? <laughs> These people are crazy. Okay, y'all. Continue adding this in on the top now. Again, follow the shape of your grapevine and continue from there. The maidenhair fern on sale too? The maidenhair fern might be 25 off. <clears throat> it's one of those everyday items, guys, so it's not going to be discounted as deep as seasonal. Okay, 
Linda likes the Police Academy movies. Police Academy? Who's that? I like the Police Academy movies. Is too. that A. Murphy? No, it's um, Steve Gutenberg. Never seen it. You know what I watched the other night, Nina? I watched Casper. I freaking love it, okay? Because listen, I watched this show on TV, guys. It's called The Center. You guys seen it? It's got Bill Pullman in it, and I was thinking, he looks so familiar. And I remember, oh my God, I love Casper. You like Casper? Mm -hmm. So we watched it, and that's like a classic. I haven't seen it since I was a kid. My favorite in the Casper is the, the crazy lady. What's her name? I can't remember her name, but I love it. Have you seen that movie? Because you're a Disney freak. I made Josh watch this, Dina. He thought he was going to just claw his eyes out. Call it A Simple Wish with the, the fairy godmother and that wands. With the, it's got Matilda in it, that little girl. I haven't seen that one. I liked it. Um, Josh said it was a joke. <clears throat> okay, y'all. We're going to continue adding a little bit of this around our bow to give us a little bit of base. And then we're going to continue adding all this fabulous stuff I have over here in here as well. So, since y'all are stuck at home, what's for lunch? Anybody making anything good? Diana Copeland, if you're watching, I don't want to hear what you're having lunch, okay? Because every day you're cooking some fried chicken and green beans. I don't want to. Mm -mm. I can't go over there and eat it. But we Did you also. Watch three, billboard, three billboards? Yeah. Have you not seen that? Mm -mm. That was one of those movies we stumbled across. We were kind of watched the trailer and we were like on the fence. Turned out to be really, really good. So, if you guys need something, please check that one out. Okay, now, I need y'all's opinion and your advice, okay? I have been on the fence about buying an air fryer, okay? And I need to know what you guys think. I've heard, I'm a big Chick-fil-A fan. I've heard that you can literally cook chicken in there, and it's so good, it's so crispy, it's, un, it's not greasy, and it tastes and resembles Chick-fil-A. What do you guys think? Paula Dean is my all-time favorite chef on Food Network. She's not on there anymore. But she has air fryers that she has for sale. And I watch her live videos from time to time. And she cooks like pork tenderloin in there. All kinds of stuff. So make sure y'all leave your recommendations. I'd love to hear your feedback on what you like. What you think I should do. And when shipping is available, I will order me some. <clears throat> Did you binge Ozark? <clears throat> Listen. Okay, I forgot to talk about Ozark, okay? Let me get close. Okay, y'all. Have you never seen Ozark? Mm -mm. Uh, you know who Laura Linney is? Mm -hmm. Love. Okay. Here's my thoughts on season three. I love it. It never lets me down. It is one of the best shows on Netflix. If you guys don't know about it, it's about this family that moves to the Ozarks. They launder money for a drug cartel and they get really involved. The whole, the kids know, the whole family knows. My favorite character is Ruth because she does not take anybody's crap. I love, love, love her. She's my spirit animal. But the wife, she doesn't play either, and I really like her. But the whole show is just so good. There's twists and turns everywhere. You got the crazy neighbors. You got the drug cartel. You got the lawyer. It's just insane. What are your guys' thoughts? Leave a comment if you guys watched over the weekend. Uh, me and Josh watched it in one day. We stayed up all day and all night watching it. Uh, it's probably why I had bags under my eyes. But it was so good. So, absolutely. I forgot about that. I'm glad y'all talked about it. Veronica, it's Maiden Hair Fern. That's a Maiden Hair girl. <clears throat> okay. The center? The Center. That is a really good show. So, if you guys haven't seen that, um, we just finished season three last night. It wasn't as good as the first two seasons, but the first season has Jessica Biel. She's one, she's married to Justin Timberlake, and she has a, a son and a husband, and they go to the beach one day, and she kind of look, looks off into space, and she gets up, and she stabs this guy to death on the beach and kills him. Can't remember why she stabbed him. Can't remember stabbing him. She doesn't remember anything. And this lawyer, which is Bill Pullman, he comes and he helps her try and, and retrieve flashbacks of what happened. And it explains what happened to her, the trauma that happened to her to cause that event. And it's very, very good. The second season's about a cult, which is very interesting to me. And then a, the third season was about this guy. It was very weird, I can't even tell you. But it's really good, guys. It's on Netflix, too. I have a carry-out register, too, please. Carry-out Okay, I'm going to take this... This is our next tip. I forgot to show you. This is on ellishomeandgarden.com too. One of my favorites. I think it's called a petunia stem. But it's got these beautiful purple flowers, which is going to bring out that purple uh, ribbon that we have. And it's going to create a great uh, base layer also to add in that beautiful dogwood. Dee says we better be six feet apart. We are, honey. We are like five, four and a half. Okay. Look how pretty. Cut this apart. Now... Let's just start layering this in right here. I saw a, uh, 
a thing on Facebook, guys. Some lady had three poodles, and it said even her poodles were six feet apart, and it showed them in the yard sitting there six feet apart. It was funny. Can y'all imagine Stella? She'd be running around the block. <clears throat> she went to the, to the groomer. They closed. And so I got her in before they closed. And she, I told them to surprise me. Woo! She's got turquoise nails, honey. <laughs> I mean, it's like this right here, like teal. And I'm like, okay, girl. And she's got the turquoise bows. Of course, it came a hurricane last night. And her haircut's already, she looks like a, she looks like a Brillo pad. But, you know, what can you do? Did it flood at your house last night? I was, or you were working? Yeah. Do you bring your lunch every day or do you go out to eat tonight? Or you don't have time to leave? I don't have time to leave. Gloria, he would glue if he were making this for himself, but for Tom and Demo, he doesn't. Yep. Okay, look how pretty that purple's looking, guys. Girl, look at that. So we're gonna keep adding on here as we go. Barbara oh. says, if you like the center, look at seven seconds on Netflix. Seven seconds. Okay, let me see if I have a pin up in this joint. <clears throat> of course not. Dan, will you remember that? Seven seconds, do you have a pin? No. Okay, guys, we don't have no pin up in here. <clears throat> We're out. So, uh, remind me of that. Seven seconds. What's it about? Give me a little plot. What size are the grapevines? The grapevines are 18 inches. And if you wanted to take this and make it on a larger scale, you totally could. You just want to use you a 24-inch uh, round grapevine versus the 18-inch. But by the time you get all this on here, honey, it's going to fit on a standard size 8-foot door. Or even a little bit taller, you can just bring it down and, and uh, center it in the door a little bit. Okay, one thing I like to do from time to time is do a QA. and a If you guys have any questions about me personally, about designing, leave those down below. We're going to take up a few, a few minutes doing that. I'm going to have Dina relay those to me. If you have any questions for her as well, y'all can drop those down. Morning, Teeny. Hey, Teeny, what's up, girl? Oh, no, D, you don't see anything I design. Are you surviving? Listen, I have a contest I want to do one day long. I have to drug Dina, I think. But... Um, I told her, she is right here, like, she sees everything firsthand for like three years and however long we've been doing this. And so I told her one day we should do a, a video where she copies and does the same thing I do. And we can fix it where we're not on camera, like you just see the wreath, but I think it would be fun. I don't get on camera. Well, you don't have to get on camera. Okay, guys, we've added a little bit of that purple. Girl, she's looking pretty. I'm going to add just a tad more right Tina around. says, hey. Who? Teeny. Hey, girl. Uh, right around the bell, I'm going to add a little bit more. Is y'all's hair gray yet? <laughs> y'all know the hair salons is closed down. Um, you have to get a little root touch-up at Walmart. <clears throat> Teeny's going on a bear hunt. A bear hunt? Honey, you're supposed to be in the house. I don't want to see no bears. Mm -mm. There's a great series on Netflix called Wet Worth. Wentworth, I've heard about that. Okay, seven seconds, Wentworth. Keep going, guys, more suggestions. Because if I find something I like, I go through it quick. Let me tell you about this Hallmark movie I watched. Okay, so y'all know I love Hallmark Christmas movies and two weekends in a row, because of the demand, they have played Christmas movie marathons. And there was one last year that came out with a new one with Kristen Chan, if you like her. And uh, she... She was on a new movie, and I didn't get a chance to watch it. I got too busy with my installs. So it came on during this movie marathon, and I recorded it. And girls, let me tell you, I watched it. Okay, I'm going to give you guys the premise. This is a little twist. I've never seen this one coming. So she is a choir director, a choir teacher, and um, she has an opening in her choir. It's like a high school choir. So this 17-year-old kid comes, and he asks to be a part of her choir. And she says, well, sure, absolutely. So the dad has a little conflict about her, his son joining his, his uh, wife passed away. So, of course, him and Kristen Chenoweth, they start, you know, zipping and doing it, and they start falling in love. And anyway, about mm, three-fourths of the movie, uh, they go on this day, they're really getting close, and, you know, here comes the snow, you know, something's about to happen, bomb's about to drop. And she says, um, you know, I, I really love how close you are with your son. And she says, when I was 16, I had a baby, and I gave it up for adoption. I always wondered how his life turned out. Do I even need to tell you all the rest? That boy in the choir sought her out, and that was her son. And she fell in love with his dad, and boom, 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 bippity boppity boo, honey, we have a whole true love story. I about fell off the couch and hit the table. Uh, it was, so, it was so good. So if you guys have not seen that, it's called a Christmas love story. 
cacao authentic and it's very good you guys it's on Hallmark Channel I could always count on them to put me in a good mood you know I watched one last night bear hunt you put a teddy bear in your window so when families can take a walk or drive by they can hunt bears they're going all day oh, well maybe I just need to stand in the window <laughs> then they would really stop okay look how pretty honey this is definitely a great stopping place but we ain't stopping we got some of that dogwood remember that's our item of the week 50 percent off kimberly's a first time watcher hi kimberly welcome to ellis Hunter gardens facebook page <clears throat> my name is dylan i'm glad to have you here okay guys we're going to add some of this now we kind of set our wreath up for this right here so we're going to just cut this into some smaller pieces these stems are harder than a rock, okay? I'm going to have a freaking broke wrist in a minute. <clears throat> so I'm just going to cut this one more time because I can't do it. Okay, look how pretty. Now, <clears throat> pull this apart. You don't want anything to be congested, okay? And now go back through here and add in a little bit of this dogwood. Ooh, honey, look how pretty and full. And we're just going to keep on twisting and turning so we get it all in there. So just a little bit here and there. I just stuck that up my nose, this flower. <laughs> that tickles. Okay. <clears throat> and we're going to add some around the top too. Again, this is our item of the week, six fifty. And by the way, if you guys just popped on, all Easter ribbon and floral is 70% off in store and online and all Easter decor is 50. So really a great time to stack up on all those products, honey. I know I am because it's going to, let me tell y'all how fast it goes. Christmas will be here before we know it. And then you know what comes after that Easter. Okay. <laughs> and then it'll be time to do it again. And you've already stacked up on all your product. I've already started thinking about Christmas decorating. Josh, he's already, I'm already on his nerves, but I've already decided to redo all this stuff and uh, I just can't wait. Maybe I'll start earlier this year. Louisville, okay. Kentucky, 106.9 are inserting Christmas music into the, some of their broadcasts. Good. You know, they always say, guys, Christmas makes everybody happier. Christmas decorations, Christmas music. And I did a Christmas live video not too long ago. I did my Christmas mantle. And uh, I did that just because, you know, I wanted to do what they said, which is Christmas makes everybody happy. It always makes me happy. So if you guys want to check that out, it's on my page, Designs by Dylan. Okay, we're filling in with this beautiful dogwood, spreading it apart as we go so that it's not too congested and full. Okay, now, let's not forget about the center, okay? We can actually take a little bit of this dogwood and put that right there in between our ribbon. Look how pretty. Okay, we're almost done, but I wanna add a little bit something more. I love pink, okay? And so we're gonna add a little bit of pink to bring out that pink ribbon. This is on the website as well. It is only $5. This is kind of made out of a paper material, so it's very easy to add into your wreaths. And you can kind of bend it, shape it how you want. Tammy said she doesn't have the Hallmark Channel, but does do you think Alexa will bring it to her? Yes, she might. She really might. Okay. So a little bit of this pink, look at that, honey. That is just going to really make this wreath turn out the way that we want. And I'm spreading it apart as we go. And yes, he, um, I don't know if he took the pop cleaners and tied them together or wire and tied them together, but it's wire and put them together. Yep, you just use a little bit of wire, guys, and that will help you tie everything together. Okay, continuing to fill in with the pink just a little bit. And that is really going to just bring out that pink that's in that ribbon. Add a little bit up here. Oh, I love it. What do you guys think about that pink? It's really changing everything. Huh, let me see if I have anything. Hold on. A little still. <laughs> From over there. I'm going to put a little bit more in right over here. To fill in where my bow is. Okay. Is that not the prettiest thing ever? Listen, I love Infinity Wreaths because it's a great way to put something on your door that's not so traditional. You know, traditional round wreath, everybody has them. 
But this right here really stands out as something different. You can replicate this design in any season, not just Easter. You could even stick a little bunny on there if you wanted to. If I had one up here, I would show you how I do. Okay, you could take a little bunny, guys, pop her in, or look, let me see. I am shook. Okay, that is really cute. Okay, so see, you just took a little bur burlap bunny, stuck him or her up in the wreath, and just really accents it. This is great. You can leave it for after Easter. Take that bunny out, but that's a burlap bunny, so I feel like you could leave it through spring and you could get away with it. So, Barbara, Rebecca will post a shopping supply list at the end of the video. Yes, everything you see here can be found at ellishomeandgarden.com. The dogwood, 50% off. All Easter floral and ribbon is 70% off. Easter decor is 50% off. I think mesh is on sale, 50 off. Honey, everything is on sale. So, ellishomeandgarden.com. Again, if you guys want to see this and more, I have a design group, Dylan's Divas. My website is Dylan, D-Y-L-A-N, PalmerDesigns.com. I'd love to have you join, guys. I get four live video demonstrations per week, uh, live Q&As, a little bit of business coaching. I give you a tutorial per month and so much more. So I'd love to have you. Um, we're having so much fun in the Divas, and I really go way more in-depth and detail on how to design and the correct way to kind of do things. So I hope you guys have had as much fun as I have. It took my mind off of everything crazy going on in the world for just a second, which is all I need in the day to really get me going. And hopefully, this inspires you guys to use this time at home to uh, order some products, to make some fabulous wreaths, tag Ellis Home and Garden, tag my page, Designs by Dylan, in your, uh, your wreaths and stuff, because we love to see your creations and what you interpret from our videos each and every week that we Rebecca do Rebecca just pinned it. Okay, cool. Rebecca just pinned what? The website? Mm -hmm. The website, so you guys can check or it out. the shopping list. Oh, and the shopping list. Okay, honey. Well, she is, all, she is ready. Okay, I appreciate your recommendations. What were they again? Seven Seconds and Wentworth. And somebody said Iron Fist. Iron Fist. Okay, I'm going to watch all three of those. We will talk about that next time, next week, 10 o'clock a.m. CST. We will talk about that and we'll assess, okay? If you guys haven't watched Tiger King, honey, get up. Go watch it. Go watch Ozark. Those are my top two. And there's also a show on Netflix called Lock and Key. If you like a little bit of sci-fi, it's really, really good. And uh, I think you'll enjoy that as well. So... Thanks, guys, for hanging out with me. Love you so much for watching. EllisHomeandGarden.com. You can check out all this stuff. You can follow me on Designs by Dylan. And we will see you guys next week here at Ellis at 10 o'clock a.m. CST here at Ellis. I just said that again. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.